Now I'm going to add a timer for the game. So I'm going to select the empty, which we called game. Uh, we added a score property to this. Now I'm going to add a time, a timer. So I'm going to call that property timer. I want it to be of type float, uh, which is a real number with decimal places. Uh, I want the initial value to be 0, 0.0. Uh, and I want that to be displayed as well in the um, debugger area in this corner here. So now with the empty selected, Uh, we've got the two uh, message sensors. I'll close those up to detect whether you've gone through the middle hole or the left and right holes. Close all these up. I'm going to add an always. Okay, so I select always here. Now, uh, if this is the event and this is the event handler uh, an always event occurs always now what does that mean well every frame and there are 60 normally the blender game engine runs at 60 frames per second and this will always send a signal through I want that to go straight through an AND gate and what do I want it to do well I want it to update the timer property so I need a property actuator now uh, I want it to add uh, now if that's gonna happen every frame 60 frames per second I want it to add 1 60th of a second uh, every frame now 1 6th is 0.166 recurring uh, so 1 60th is 0 0.01666 recurring. So I'm going to round it off there at 0 0.0167. And we're going to add that to the timer property. So if I connect that up and run the game, do I get a timer? So I'll start the game and it runs once and then stops and it's not what we want so I'm pressing escape to get out of the game engine how do I get it uh, to um, fire for every frame 60 frames per second well this if you click it is, is turned on for true in pulse mode that is false we want to send through a true Pulse mode just means that uh, it isn't just fired once when the event ha happens once. It is fired continuously while the event happens every frame. And that's what we want. Now if I start the game, the timer is working. And if you time that against the stopwatch, you'll find it is pretty close to uh, the right time. Let's escape from that. I'm going to give the logic bricks uh, more meaningful names. Update uh, timer. Just helps you when you look back, reminds you what the bricks do. Update timer. Now, uh, what are we going to do with the timer? Well, when the ball uh, falls off the board, uh, the game effectively freezes as the ball goes off to infinity um, and we only want to give uh, the player just a reasonable amount of time to try and get the ball in one of the holes so after uh, 18 seconds I'm going to restart the game now how do we do that well I'm going to use a different type of controller up, up to now I've only used the AND but now I'm going to use an expression controller and how does this work? Well, if I put an expression in here, timer greater than 18, 
and connect that up. What the always signal will send a true signal uh, 60 frames, 60 times a second. It'll go straight through the AND and update the timer, but it will be stopped at the expression until this expression is true, and that will be true after 18 seconds. And what do we want to happen when we get to the 18 seconds? We want the scene to restart. Okay, now if I connect that up, does it work? So if I start the game, I'll deliberately roll the ball off the board. Off it goes to infinity. Uh, we've got to wait another eight seconds now, and it should reset. And get to 18, and there it resets. Okay, that's the uh, end of this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll put this f finished file on my website, freemovies.co.uk, at the Blender channel there.